Hello YouTube, this is Barry Hollux and I'm bringing you something educational to my channel. This is a mini biography on Ignaz Semmelweis. Now Ignaz was a male doctor who delivered babies to mothers. If he was delivering a baby, the baby or the mother was more than likely to die at childbirth. Ignaz began working in the maternity hospital. He was the ma in the male section. In the male, in the male section, all the mothers kept dying and the babies as well. Semmelweis didn't know why, so he despite it, the fact that the mothers kept dying at birth. Ignaz had a feeling it was something to do with bacteria, but in them days, people didn't know what bacteria was. Or they didn't believe in the word hygiene or anything like that because they didn't know what it was. So Semmelweis didn't get believed by the end of the by the other doctors. Ignaz Ignaz worked harder and harder, but all that mo all the mothers kept on dying, and he couldn't understand why. Ignaz Semmelweis had a friend one day. And he cut his finger open. He died hours later. Ignaz did a post mortem on him, but could couldn't could not get no scientific proof that it was bacteria that killed kill it that killed the people that kept dying at childbirth. But Ignaz had this deep, deep down feeling that it was what we call bacteria today that was killing him. Ignaz started to wash his hand rapidly, scrubbing hard for a whole three minutes or more. And the deaths of the um, women in labour went down. But still, no one believed that it was the bacteria that didn't dirt, bacteria and dirt that was killing the women. But it still keep happening even though he was washing his hands. Because all the other doctors didn't agree with him and stuff. Um, right, now, this is going to be the funny part. When he started washing his hands, Ignaz Semmelweis cut the death rate by 30%. Now, that is a lot. But 1% of that 30% took 6 years to do. Right, now I'm going to leave you with a break. I'm going to put some music on for you so then you can see pictures and stuff what it was like in them days when Ignis was alive and I'll be back in a tick. Right, see you in a minute. didn't believe him. Ignaz knew that if he was to be put on to the 
male doctors would, you'd more than likely to die. So, and I think everyone else knew that in them days as well. Um, if you was to die, you'd more than likely die of childbed fever. In fact, they all knew that. The death rates went right down from high percentage to really low percentage. This goes to show that Ignis was right. But by this point, Ignis was sat from his job and left with no money. Ignis knew he was right all along. But with him having no job, no money and nowhere to live, he was beaten up and practically left for dead in the road. Now two weeks later, after Ignis got beaten up, he died with the disease of Semmelweis. Semmelweis. In fact, if it wasn't, in fact, if it wasn't for Semmelweis today in England, we wouldn't have hygiene. Now hygiene, or oh, everyone knows what hygiene is now, but in them days, no one didn't. So now, hygiene compared to today, hygiene compared today from um, last century, hygiene is something that we've all got to do. Wash hands, wash face, wash body parts, keep the environment clean, keep the house clean, keep it dust free and all that. But in them days, Semmelweis didn't know, they didn't, they didn't actually know, pardon me, they didn't actually know what actually to do. So now, just say if I, just say if Ignace went for an operation today, if he was still alive, he would more than likely to survive because it's hygienic and doctors have got to wash their hands for a full three minutes in their nails, in their fingernails, or in between the hands, up their arms and everything else. But this goes to show that they've picked up what Ignace was trying to do um, in like the 19 whatever, 18 whatever. So... It goes to show that Ignis was right all along. So, in a way, I bet the doctors wished that they listened to him now. So then, it they cut the death rates right, 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 right down. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to leave you with a few more pictures and a bit more music. So, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you've learned something about it. Cheers. Thanks for watching.